I would like to welcome you to the upper echelon. I want you to be honest and don't you lie. Don't you think of lying. Be for real. You're not a Bud Crawford fan. You just hate Spence, right? Hate it or love it, the underdogs on top. This ain't no Estee Lauder or no CoverGirl collection. What this is is the top 10 female boxers. And we start from first to 10th because the boxer coming in the first place has been so disrespected, so undermined, they do not want to give her these roses. But what they fail to realize is she is the quote. She is Clarissa T-Rex quote Shields. She is the only boxer, male or female, to hold simultaneously all four major titles in two weight classes. She was undisputed in two weight classes. Did you hear me? She was undisputed in two weight classes. Plus she was unified in the super middleweight with the IBF and the WBC. Not only did she conquer the females boxing division, but as an amateur, she was highly decorated. 2012 and 16 she won the gold medal at the Olympics in 2014 and 16 she won the gold medal in the world champions in 2015 she got the gold at the Pan Am Games so Clarissa Shields was a monster amateur and professional and in the professional she just beat Emma Cozen to move her record to 12 and 0 she has done all this in 12 fights. She's the most influential female boxer already. And anybody that denies that, they just hate because Clarissa Shields is the best female boxer right now and in history. Because nobody has done it better. She looks to shut all the critics and naysayers up because now she set up a super fight with Savannah Marshall the knockout queen, the only person that has defeated Shields, amateur or professional. My, we got fireworks going down, but Savannah ain't no match for the quote. Next is number two, is a person who just lost a very controversial fight against Katie Taylor, that is Amanda Serrano, the Guinness World Record holder for the most boxing world championships, won in different weight classes by a female, having held nine major titles across seven different weight classes. She also was the first woman to ever be super world champion by the WBO. She also has a mixed martial art career, a professional wrestling career, and a submission record. But following that controversial loss with Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano is still 42 wins, two losses, 30 big wins coming by way of knockout. Knockout people, yes. She's the knock 30 women out. So it's safe to say that this hard hitting, heavy puncher should be ranked among the greatest. Say Dynamite comes in small packages where she's Mrs. Tick, Tick, Boom. She is a two weight world champion and the current undisputed lightweight champion, having held the WBA title since 2017 the IBF title since 2018 and the WBC, WBO and the Ring Magazine title since 2019 as well as having held the WBO Junior Welterweight title since 2019 following her victory over Delphine Peterson. In 2019 she became one of only eight boxers in history, female or male, to hold all four major world titles in boxing and she had the WBA, WBC, IBF, and the WBO simultaneously. But Katie Taylor, she is the weekend warrior, the Irish brawler, 35 years of age, and she still is fighting like she's 21. And she is a monster. She's 21 and 0 with six knockouts professionally, but her amateur record is what you need to look at. In the Olympics, she got gold. In the World Championship, she has five goals and one bronze. In the European Championship, she has six goals. In the Eastern European Championship, five goals. In the European Games, she got one gold. She has gold 
18 times than Braun's once. So you talking about an uh, amateur pedigree? Yes. Her amateur pedigree is nice. And that's what translates so well to the do the pros. With an 11 and 2 record, who one of her losses came early in her career against Katie Taylor, we have the woman who knocked off the reigning queen of women's boxing, Cecilia Brahakus, twice. And that is Jessica McCaskey. She is a two weight world champion, having held the undisputed and the IBO female welterweight title since 2020. The WBC female super lightweight title from 2018 to 2020 and the WBA female super lightweight titles from 2019 to 2020. She also challenged for the WBA lightweight title in 2017. As of September 2020, she is ranked as the world's best active female welterweight by The Ring magazine. And she dared to be great going against Katie Taylor, but all that did was give her more experience. So when she fought Cecilia Brehepus, she was able to beat her handedly and beat her again in the rematch. So she took the queen's throne. That is why she's four. Not too many people had it as rough as this lady right here. Started out her professional career against the quote Shields and lost. Then later on in her career, got in a fight with a full-fledged man, Alejandro Jimenez. And to show her toughness, she went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, blow for blow. Even had her wig knocked off while she was fighting this dude. And had a controversial victory overturned. She was fighting a dude who was steroids, transitioning from a female to a male, and all that. And was going blow to blow, toe to toe with him. Like she was getting hit by like a real man. But still won the fight handedly, but the judges gave the fight away. And so, after some digging and some controversy, the call got overturned and Freshon Cruz was giving her belts back. With a record now of 8 and 1, she is current undisputed super middleweight world champion after winning the WBA and the IBF female super middleweight titles from Ellen Cerrotos April the 30th, 2022 and having held the WBO female title since March 2020 and previous from January 2019 to January 2020 and the WBC female title since June of 2020 previously from 2018 to 2020 so shout out to Freshawn Cruz and she's done putting a lot of hard work especially when your first boxing match is against the group the greatest female boxer of all time but Freshawn deserved Cruz is the super middleweight's queen and nobody's gonna take that from her not even a steroid induced man transferring to a woman can stop her she's a bad girl even though she got two losses she's still the first lady of boxing with 36 wins and two losses nine wins by knockout just sometimes father time catches up with you you can't do the same things you did when you was young but the fact that she's still doing it and been doing it this long is a testament to the first lady the 40 year old former kickboxer and professional boxer reigned as the undisputed female welterweight champion from 2014 to 2020. It is the first women in any weight class to hold the WBA, WBC, IBF, and WBO titles simultaneously. She is also one of 11 boxers in history, male and female, to hold all four major world titles simultaneously and captured the WBO in 2016. She become the first ever boxer, period, to hold five world titles from sanctioning bodies simultaneously. So yes, Mother Nature and Father Time may have caught up with Cecilia Bray Akus, but it won't diminish everything that she's done from the sport. Besides Clarissa the Rope Shields, the First Lady's impact is undeniable. Like an impact from one of her shots. And number seven comes in with a boxer who is stunning enough to be on a runway or on a magazine cover, but vicious enough to be on the cover of a UFC fight magazine. We have Alicia Bumgarner. At the age of 28, Alicia Bumgarner has a record of 12 and one with seven knockouts, 
She hails from Fremont, Ohio, and she is a professional boxer who has held the WBC and the IBO female super welterweight title since 2021. The biggest win of her career came against Terry Harper November 13, 2021 when she won the WBC and the IBO female super featherweight title. Not only did she win that fight, but she won that fight, stopping Terry Harper in the fourth round out of a 10 round fight to make her a unified champion. At the age of 31, with a boxing record of 17 wins, zero losses, five wins coming by way of knockout, we have Michaela Mayer. She is a unified super featherweight champion, having held the WBO female title since 2020 and the IBF female title since November 2021. And as an amateur, she won a bronze medal at the 2012 World Championship and competed for the US in the 2016 Olympics. As of February 2021, she is ranked second best in the Super Featherweight. So let's see if she chooses to unify and go for undisputed in the Super Featherweight division. Number nine on the females pound for pound is gonna be like the Boots Ennis of the female division. That's Shadeja Green, who is 9-0 with eight knockouts. The WBC Super Middleweight Silver Champion, the WBC International Super Middleweight Champion, and she is a fighter that has put the press game down and nobody really wants to fight this girl because she is that good, that strong, and she's taking people's heads as she go. But they can't deny her too much longer because either they're going to have to fight her or vacate one or the other. But she is here and she's here to stay. And she's ranked number nine out of all the women fighting right now. The only fighter to ever beat the woke Clarissa Shields. It's Savannah Rose Marshall, a professional British boxer who has held the WBO middleweight title since 2020. As an amateur, she was the first British female world champion after securing the gold in 2012 world champions. She has been nicknamed the silent assassin due to her shyness. And as of October 2020, she's ranked as the world's second best active female middleweight. Savannah Marshall has 12 wins, 10 knockouts. That's 12 wins, 10 knockouts. And is also trained by Tommy Fury. And her and Clarissa Shields make up the biggest fight in female boxing right now. She's calling Clarissa out. Clarissa calls her out. They ready to get rid of this past animosity. Doug Wolf versus The Shepherd. That's what they building the fight as. But one thing Savannah ain't counting on, the GOAT ain't the same little kid that she fought back in the day. The GOAT is 12 and 0 with titles and accolades, everything. So if she's thinking she's fighting that same person that she beat, then she got another thing coming. But what they gonna do is get into this ring and let us see the best fight the best. Both are in their primes. This way we can see how each fighter has progressed over the years. And that's my one through 10, pound for pound. We need to give these women their credit too because they're putting in just as much work. Until next time.